Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hey, uh, I really wanted to uh, briefly touch on uh, this whole impeachment thing and, and Joe Biden and uh, the president of the Ukraine and, and, and kind of what they're saying today and what this means. Um, so Joe Biden came out, I think it was yesterday, and he came out in favor of impeaching President Trump. Imagine that. But his reasoning behind it was because that he said President Trump, um, you know, his, his um, what did he say, high crimes and misdemeanors, not really. He didn't say that, but he said that's what he did. And I'm, I'm looking at Joe Biden going, man, are you a snake in the grass? Because you are on videotape saying that you were going to withhold a billion taxpayer dollars to the Ukraine unless they fired the prosecutor who was looking into Hunter Biden's company that he happened to be on the board of with two of his, his buddies, one of them being John Kerry's stepson. Imagine that. Um, I'm like, man, this guy's got some serious balls because he actually did this. Trump hasn't done any of this. It was not in any of the transcripts saying that he did this. The whole Democrat narrative saying um, that Trump is is colluding with the Ukrainians to try and get a one up in the 2020 election. And, you know, you need to dig up dirt on Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and all this all this other crap. I mean, come on, man. You're you did this on video and there's no disputing it. It's out there. Everybody has seen it. Um, It's just that you Democrats are all in. Uh, denial. It's it's absolutely it's ridiculous to watch these people on TV and to actually think that we have fellow Americans out there that that actually believe them. Insane. H- how do you how do you look or, or how do you read the transcript and then listen to these people talk and go, I believe them over what the transcript says. It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. Uh, but then again, the people who are listening to you know Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden they're not reading the they're not reading the transcript come on they're not uh they're not up on all this stuff um but then you also have the Ukrainian president doubling down uh yesterday and even today um he had a, a press conference i think he was in a press conference for almost 9 hours um just talking taking questions and answering the press on whatever which is that's that's a long time to sit there and answer questions um but you have him saying look President Trump did not say that they were going to that the United States was going to withhold any money. There was no quid pro quo. There was no there was no request for um, either you give me dirt on Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, or I'm going to withhold this money from you. There was none of that. That wasn't even mentioned in the transcript. Yet um, you still have Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi going out there on stage. And then on all these Democrats, their talking points are all the same if you listen to them. Um, that President Trump is colluding with the Ukrainians to um, mess with the 2020 election. And he's doing it um, by withholding funds for their military. Absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And 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 the whole th- another thing that is is absolutely ridiculous is that the Democrats are are going around the whole impeachment process. In order to have an a, a legal impeachment inquiry, they need to hold a vote in the house <clears throat> in the House of Representatives so everybody can be on record. And what that does, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Man, sorry about that. So what that does is it will allow the Republicans, who are the minority now, to have subpoena privileges. Well, holy shit, they don't want that because they know that they're going to get called out. Adam Schiff's going to get called out. You know, we're going to have the rights to subpoena anybody we want to, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, to get to the bottom of this. They don't want that. They they don't want that. So what they're going to do is they're spinning this narrative, this negative false narrative about Trump. Um, creating all this, um, <clears throat> not veracity, but they're creating all this um, um, fake news, really, and people are buying into it. You know, you saw the polls today. 51% are in favor 
of impeaching and removing President Trump. 51 percent. Well, they didn't ask me. I'm sure they didn't ask any of you guys. I don't know where they're getting these numbers from, but those numbers are skewed because I guarantee you <clears throat> that the people that are asking are only getting their information from the fake news, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, whatever. They're, they're not getting it from reliable sources. They're not reading the transcript. They're not they're not listening to what people are saying and they're not making informed decisions. They're just going, Oh, well, uh, Chuck Todd said that. So it must be true. Well, Chuck Todd's an absolute asshole. Um, and, and Rachel, you know, Maddow, come on, give me a break. The people that are listening to have their own agendas. They're they're They are the, um, liberal bought media. They're not going to give out anything in favor of this president because they've been trying to impeach him since the day after he was elected, I was watching Sean Hannity last night and he put together this clip and it literally starts in 2016 and you have all these journalists, so-called journalists going out on the record saying impeachment, impeachment, impeachment. Then you have Maxine Waters holding rallies, you know, he's chanting impeach four to five, impeach four to five. <laughs> There's nothing there, man. Nothing there. But it was consistent. It was if it was not weekly or monthly, it was daily. Someone someone said impeach or impeachment or impeachable offense, some kind of you know statement like that. All the way up until now, it has been a relentless barrage, um, kind of like Chinese water torture. We're just going to like drip this in there, and eventually something's going to stick, or you're going to break, and we're going to impeach you. Well, it's not happening. And, and if you look at what Trump did to Mueller, he didn't give him anything. He didn't help him out. He's not, you know, he was, he was totally on the offensive um, or defensive, actually. But he was always pushing back. And that's exactly what he needs to do now. The Republicans in Congress and in the Senate need to give them nothing. If they're going to do something, if the Democrats are going to, you know, have a vote or do something, you know, maybe a couple of Republicans need to sit in there with a couple of lawyers so they document this to make sure that they, they have... Uh, what they're saying on the record. Um, so they have more firepower, but Nancy Pelosi knows goddamn well, and I'm sorry for saying that, she knows darn well that if she holds a vote in the House of Representatives, then I think it was like between 30 and 40 of those uh, newly elected uh, uh, representatives in 2018 are in deep shit because they are in you know, Trump territory. Uh, and, and, you know, come 2020, bye-bye Nancy Pelosi. I think it's going to happen anyways, but, you know, with her pulling her and Adam Schiff and all these other committee chairmen, you know, running around like chickens, subpoenaing everybody, um, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, th this can't, it's going to go to the Supreme court or it's going to go to a higher court and they're going to say, you can't do this because it is not legal. They're going to smack this down on you. You need to go through the impeachment inquiry process that is in the Constitution. I forgot what amendment it is, but you need to follow that. Otherwise, you're out of line. You're out of order. Psh, slam the gavel down. So um, that's why I could talk about this all day long. And um, But I wanted to say that, you know, the fact that Joe Biden's coming out and accusing the president of you know crime uh, high crimes and misdemeanors when he's on tv saying you know he basically bribed the ukrainian president at the time to fire the prosecutor or he wasn't going to get his billion dollars in in aid from the united states that we paid for taxpayer money uh is laughable is laughable uh they're so out of their mind they're trying to put out so many fires they're so afraid that Trump is going to win again in 2020, which he will, that they're doing anything they can to shut him down. They're just afraid. They're so afraid. I'm glad they're afraid. Um, and I'm, I'm really hoping that everybody sees past all of this, all the charades that they're putting on and, um, you know, use their, their minds and not their hearts. And when they're, when they're voting next year, or even, even in this whole impeachment process, when, 
you know, someone if someone asks you a question and says, hey, are you in favor of impeachment? Hell no, you're not, because there's nothing there. There's nothing there. All right. Well, that being said, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell for um, notifications on when I put out future videos. Check out that Teespring link below for your conservative Patriot gear. There's uh, hoodies. I got one coming in next week. I'm going to put it on and show you guys. I got hoodies down there. I got a coffee mug and T-shirts right now. So check those out. Um, I, I, it's a good deal. So anyways, always remember to stay on the right side and have a great rest of your day. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.